How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Max, here, and welcome, everybody, to episode two of our Toronto Maple Leafs NHL 22 franchise mode. Today, we're starting the year one playoffs, as you can see in your bottom right side. We are playing the New Jersey Devils. Also, rematch of the 2021 Stanley Cup Finals between Montreal and Tampa Bay. We've got Battle of big rivalry over there uh, penguins and capitals we've got the abs and stars which should be fun oilers and uh, wild we got some fun playoff series but we got the new jersey devils who made the first wild card spot over in the metropolitan they finished with a 45 32 and 5 record we're going to go take a look at their lines we're going to see who's been doing the damage over in jersey and hopefully we can come away with a first round exit no, 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 no. Like, exiting the first round into the second. We don't want to lose. All right, so New Jersey Devils, they've got Alexander Holtz, um, 84 overall. He put up 62 points in 82 games. Nico Hiche, Dawson Mercer, Andre Palat um, in Jersey. He put up 60 points. That's scary. Jack Hughes, Jesper Brat. Honestly, a very solid team here. A very solid team. Looking at their defense, Graves and Hamilton, Seekenthaler, and like no real big changes to this team. Looking at it, they just had some good development and goaltending. Vitek Vanacek, let's see how he did throughout the season. Blackwood may have got a lot of the starts. Ugh, Jesus. 18 and 18, sub 900 save percentage, and almost a three goals against average for Vitek Vanacek. That is terrible. How the hell did you guys make the playoffs? I get, well, yeah, Blackwood, I guess, carried. 9-11 save percentage, 2 six, one goes against average. Not fantastic, but they basically split starts. I would have went with Blackwood. Banachek looked like he was hot dookie. You might have been a better team if you would have played Blackwood more. Regardless, though, let's head in to game number one, round number one. We obviously got home ice advantage here in Scotiabank Arena in the six. First period, and we come up to a 2-1 lead. Matthews with two goals. Second period, 4-3, bunting and comp. Bo, of course, and Jack Hughes scoring that second period. Third period, and we win 6-4. Majapani and Morgan Riley. Nico Hiche scores late. But the Leafs take game one, 6-4. All right? A little bit too many goals allowed for my liking. I know we can compete offensively with anybody in the entire league. I'm confident in that. I believe we were, what, second in goals four per game throughout the season. I'm confident that we can contend with these teams. Um in that regard. I'm more so worried about the defensive and the goaltending side of this series. But game number two, I'm happy with game number one, and that's a great way to start game number two. Majapani and Giordano, the two former Flames, they're going to make it 2 nothing early. Shots are tied 8-8. Second period, 2-1. Dawson Mercer strikes on the power play. Devils start on an early power play, and they tie it. Jack Hughes on the power play, and this game is 2-1. Devils have a severe shot advantage, but it's Callie Yarncrock making it a 3-2 game. Mitch Marner on the power play makes it 4-2. That should probably do it. Another power play for the Devils. That's a successful kill. Good job, PK unit. And that should do it for this game. 5-2 Pierre Engvall. That'll do it. 5-2. Leafs are up 2-0 in this series. I, hey, you know what? You cannot ask for any better. You allowed less goals and almost scored the same amount as game one, which I said was a worry, again, defensively. Now you're going on the road, all right, in Jersey, with a series right now that is a 2-0, all right? I don't want to leave New Jersey right now to go back to Toronto for game five. If there is one, I don't want to be going tied. Either win the series right here, right now in New Jersey, or be up 3-1. That's it, all right? You got to be, you got to set these extreme measures for the Leafs. All right, first period, game three, Three nothing. All right. Andreas Janssen does some mercy on the power play and Yogis Jonas Siegenthaler. All right. Second period. Let's bounce back here. That's not bouncing back. 34 to 18 are the shots. There's Pierre Engvall. Elite goal scorer. Pierre Engvall makes it 3-1. This game's not over yet. We need hopefully one soon. There's a power play. Nothing. Power play for the Devils. How are you going to fail on the power play? And there's Obey Kubel. The obvious likely goal scorers of Pierre Engvall and Ove Krubel, Nicholas Ove Krubel, Mr. I dented the Stanley Cup, and Jack Hughes makes it 4-2. to two. So the New Jersey Devils will go back at home and take game number three, and they're going to win it. 4-2. to two. All right. I'm not panicking. I'm not worried. I'm not going to make any lineup adjustments. I would like some more goals for Austin Matthews, potentially. He's only had the two in game one first period, so he has not scored in what? Eight periods 
eight periods now. I believe the first two was like first period of game one. I'm going to switch. I said no changes. I'm going to switch William Neal down. When I did best lines, they put Majapani here. I don't know if this was better performing throughout the season, but we're going to spread out the scoring a little bit. I haven't seen John Tavares once. Yeah, he's got three assists, I guess, in three games is fine, but I want a bit more production offensively from that line. So let's go. Marner, I know, scored a power play goal at least. I don't know what else he's done. Here we go, game four. I said I didn't want a 2-2 series going back to Toronto. Prove me right with that, please. Please allow me to be right with that and satisfy me in that regard. First period. I feel like these first periods might come back to haunt us at some point. Down 2 nothing. That is not optimal. Second period. Down 3-1. Toronto, 4-1. All right. I don't even want to watch the rest of this third period. 5-2 final. And I said, I had one goal for you guys. Do not go back to Toronto in this series with a 2-2 tie. And what are we doing? It's tie 2-2. William Nylander now leads the team in points with five assists, no goals. Awesome, Willie. Congrats. I'd like some goals, though. All right. I said we can compete with anybody, but we scored two goals in the last two games. That's that's terrible. First period, game five. This is a huge game. This decides the rest of the series, all right? First period, go out there and win. Matthews on the power play. Thank you. Thank you. Second period, still one nothing. We only have 11 shots through 40 minutes. David Kampf makes it 2 nothing less than a minute into the third. This is what we want, ladies and gentlemen. Penalty kill, please. Thank you. Penalty kill, please. Who's taking these penalties? Let me see. Hold on. The time's going to keep ticking, which is fine. Who took those two penalties? Matthews and Engvall. I'm not so mad at Engvall. Matthews scores again. Okay, I was just about to beef out Matthews, and then y'all couldn't even wait 17 seconds to let Murray get his shutout. Anyways, 3-2 series lead. <sighs> please, for the love of God, don't go to a game seven. Seal the deal. Seal the deal. You just won this game. You kept them to the lowest amount of goals you have all series long. May 9th, 2022 could be the day that Leaf fans around the world celebrate forever. All right? First period in a potential serious clinching game. one nothing. TJ Brody. Blackwood is now in the net for the Devils. I don't know if he has been this whole time, actually. Second period. Oh, my goodness. Nico Hiche and... John Marino, bro. John Marino, bro. Power play for the Devils. Thank you, penalty kill. Come on. It's a 2-1 game. It's a 2-1 game. Come on. After all the ridicule, all the teasing every single year. We're going back to a game seven, aren't we? We're going back to a game seven. Thomas Tatar scores an empty net goal. And we are going to a game numero seven. I don't know what to do. I don't, 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 um, we'll do this. Angval's done good. We're gonna throw you up. We're gonna throw you up over here. Uh, Kerfoot, you can go down here. That's a minus line now. I'm gonna go with that. I know there's a minus there. We need some adjustment here. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness. I'm shaken. I'm shaken. Usually I'd be cheering against the Leafs in this situation, but as general general manager of this franchise, this is it. This is it. All right? First round. I haven't gotten to the second round since 2004. You are on home ice. The blue and white are filling the Scotiabank Arena as we speak. The concession lines are empty because everyone is in their seats. All right? This is your time to shine. This is what legend, and you're already taking a penalty less than two minutes into a game. Who? Who was that? Who took the penalty? Tavares, what are you doing holding his stick less than two minutes into the game, bro? Stop. 
Okay, you're the captain of this damn team. I'm going to strip you of captaincy if we lose this game. Mark my damn words. First period, please, for the love of God, score a goal. And you scored none. All right. So, that's fine. That's fine. Shots are basically equal. It's a 40-minute hockey game. Second period. Pierre Engvall! Pierre motherfucking Engvall. I moved him up, I think. Did I move him up? I think I moved him up. Third liner, Pierre Engvall. And it's one nothing. Please. Please. Just stick with... Oh my god. Alexander Holtz has made this 1-1. One -one. Alexander Holtz has made this game 1-1. One -one. I am out of my seat, ladies and gentlemen. I am stoked. I am hyped. Five minutes left to go. I paused the simulation, by the way. 4.33 left to go. Third period. Game 7. We are tied 1-1. One -one on home ice in Toronto, Scotiabank Arena. I already set the scene back in the first period, but apparently it didn't hype you guys up at all. All right? But here we are. And here we go. Face-off has been lost. Damon Severson skates in. Jack Hughes, wrist shot off, and Matt Murray's going to make the stop. 4.03 left in the third period. <sighs> Why am I nervous? Because I... I promised, a, I promised the Toronto Maple Leaf fan base that we are going to get them out of the first round. Big block. I didn't realize I had control. William Nylander skates it on the right on the right side boards. Feeds off to Matthews and he gets poked. But he lifts the stick. Selkie level Matthews. Wrist shot. Rebound. And Marner hit the post. There's no way. Mitch Marner just rings it off the bar. And Matthews in front and he can't bury it in the slot. You are not going to get any better opportunities to score there. Nylander cycling it to Marner. The big three. Riley. Marner can't bury it. Matthews over to Riley. Brad steals it. One minute left to play. Oh my god, bro. Mitch Marner rings it off the bar. Matthews in the slot. Can't bury it. What a stop. There's a chance in front. Matt Murray scrambling. Feeds it over to Morgan Riley. Here's Mitch Marner. Marner. Wrist shot. Poked. Nylander. Oh, what a stop. Oh, I thought that was in. 35. <clears throat> Hamilton behind the net. That first line out is still out for the Leafs. Hiche to Holtz. Big shot. What a block by Brody. Captain Tavares with 17, 16, 15. Are we going to go to an overtime? Are we going to have an overtime? <gasps> Nylander in front. Tries to squeak it by. What a save from Blackwood. And Graves is going to take it out. To Hiche. Can the Devils get one more chance on goal? Hiche. 2-1. And what a save at the last second by Matt Murray. And we're going into overtime. 29-29 of the shots. 1-1 one one is the score. Game 7. 3-3 three, three series. First round. Who wins it? Comment down below who you think wins this game right here, right now. Who gets the game-winning goal? And uh, the puck has been dropped in overtime. Matthews. Oh, what a stop. Oh, what a stop by Blackwood. Matthews. Oh, and Graves steals it. Marner. What a strip by Marner. That's Selkie level defense. Matthews behind the net. Cycles it over to Morgan Riley on the point. Morgan Riley loses the puck because he's asked. Kidding. Love you, Morgan. Matthews. Matthews to Marner. Blocked in front. Matthews again, and he can't get a stick on it all the way. Oh, my goodness. The chances, and the Devils survive again, and they get it out. Holtz. I believe he scored in this game seven to make it 1 1. The Leafs faithful is screaming. What a play from Neil or Nylander to sp strip that puck away. Mitch Marner is going to dump it in. No, he's not going to dump it. He's just going to skate by himself and miss the net. Goes after it again. He wants to win this. They say that the Leafs don't have heart. They say the Leafs don't have a drive to win. Well, Mitch Marner is here to prove that wrong. But Nico Hiche, wrist shot, big stop by Matt Murray. Though I believe that's the first shot on goal. Oh my God, he's hurt. TJ Brody just got his shit rocked. I believe... Is he injured? What are we doing? Is that a penalty? Yes, but Brad's going to sit down. 
for roughing. Power play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bunting is also getting a roughing penalty. So Michael Bunting just completely erased any potential opportunity the Leafs may have had. So it's four on four now for two minutes. All right. Here we go. Morgan Riley to William Nylander. Nylander to Riley. Shot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Morgan Riley. You got to find that. You got to be able to snipe that. You are literally by yourself in the slot. And Mackenzie Blackwood just stones you. There's a shot. What a stop from Matt Murray. Elite. Bro, better win the Vesna. I don't, I don't care. Jack Hughes to Hamilton. To Hiche. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, they did it. The New Jersey Devils have won it in overtime. And again, 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 the Toronto Maple Leafs have been eliminated in Game 7 of Round 1. I'm saying right now, a general manager of this team, one of the big four is gone in the offseason. I ran it back again. I thought this team was good enough. We even went out and we got... What the hell is this face? I didn't even see him all game. I didn't even see him all game. Wow. Nico motherfucking Heischer has won this game in overtime. Hughes to Heischer right there. Wow. And the Toronto Maple Leafs again, ladies and gentlemen, have been eliminated in game seven in overtime again. And you can't even blame Matt Murray for this. He allowed one goal to get you in that spot. Well, that does it for year number one as a complete now. As the New Jersey Devils advance to the second round. Ah. And the Leafs do not. The Toronto Maple Leafs do not. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Like, William Nylander would probably be the player to go. But he had probably the best chances in overtime, aside from Marner's post shot in the in the third. But he put up seven points. He didn't score. I mean, the big three put up your point numbers. John Tavares only had four points as the captain of this damn team. You're getting stripped. I'm sorry. You 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 have drastic changes include like if, I'm sorry, John Tavares. You're supposed to be a leader in the damn room, and you have not led this team to anything but disappointment year after year after year, my guy. It's time to go. It's time to go. We might even trade you as a whole. We might even trade you as a whole. I mean, Matt Murray, 9-11 save percentage and a 2-9-3 goals against average is not fantastic by any stretch of the imagination. But again, in that game seven, he got the Toronto Maple Leafs a chance to win this game. And they didn't. They just didn't. Like, this is just absolutely incredible. I... So here, one goal four in game seven, one goal four in game six, three goals four in game five, cool, two goals four, two goals four, and then the first two, you know, was promising, six and five, you know, and they kept them the lower goals, you know, they were up 2-0 in the series, and they choked it away again. I have no words, we're going to end this video here, um, we'll simulate the rest of the playoffs in the next episode and uh, we'll figure out what to do with this team heading into year two.